Good morning, Father. Good morning, Randy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, uh, it's been a while since I've just kind of been here by myself. You it's know, having guests. You know, so yeah. it's good I to hope see you alone. people. I hope that yeah, it's good. To just, I'm always alone. <laughs> well, I've got you're skinny. I'm skinny. Yeah. No, talk I mean, about that for a second. Tell everybody. Yeah. Everybody wants to know what the diet was. Oh yeah. So I, um, I'm on a keto diet. Okay. Um, so that doesn't mean that I don't eat carbs, but it's like really reduced carbs. Right. And so he, what the, the reason that it happens, the last like three years, I gave a homily on this. Is like, so I'm an athletic person, worked out since I was like fourth grade. I can't, I can't outwork my diet anymore. I can't out exercise right, it. Right. You know, so like, I, wall. I was actually, I mean, I was working out harder and gaining weight. So right. like, I was like the heaviest I'd ever been. And it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And we have obese, obesity in our family. Right. And I'm like, well... Uh oh, I mean, we're going there, and so, <laughs> um, so it was our clergy conference in October, and and there was a booth there, and sometimes they have booths and um, vendors, and one of the vendors uh, called Protein Pantry, um, they have this, they have, um, it's basically an arrangement service where there's, uh, they have designated foods, but it's not like your diet's not completely taken over, um, and then, um, um, you have some coaching, and uh, so. Th Without the coaching and without like some of the prepackaged food that's simple, there's there's no no way for me because I just wouldn't have the discipline. Right. I would, you, you know, and the um, just the the time to reflect upon it and organize myself. So um, basically, that's what it's been. And uh, what's cool for me because I'm a you know carnivore big time. Right. You know, so um, I'm having bacon, sausage, <laughs> eggs. You know, it's like, and uh, I was like, holy cow, it works. And, and the other thing about it is like. Um, because I'm, I'm such a sugar addict, it's like, you know, moods and energy be like up and down. Right. And uh, with this diet, like, you know, really cutting out the carbs or really reducing the carbs is like, it's just a, a steady burn throughout the day. So it's been awesome for just, you know, well, I mean, of course, losing weight, feeling better, um, sleep, and then um, just like energy and presence for ministry, you know. Right. I'm not like talking to someone thinking about how I'm going to go to Andy's for my next, you know, <laughs> right. custard. So anyway. Wait, okay. That, is it true then? No no food tastes as good as thin feels. <clears throat> yeah, you know, um, um, I've, I've heard that saying too. And uh, I was driving in my truck and I popped in my mind. I was like, yeah, you know, that's kind of true. Really? Now, now <clears throat> there are temptations. And right now on this diet, I can't have alcohol. Yeah, so, that's but nice. you, um, once you hit your... Your, your your normal weight or you I mean your goal weight then you go into maintain and what happens with maintain is that you can have you can introduce some alcohol again but not beer um, like vodka you, you could beer, beer. Now, yeah you know actually you could it just have to be in moderation and the uh, but honest to God so I haven't really I, I drank like twice since um, July but it's kind of been amazing. I really haven't craved it right. or desired it. I'm like, I'm kind. Of, I think it feels like it's helped me spiritually. It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So I, you know, like this is more than just about vanity for me. I mean, like I'm vain, but like this, <laughs> this, uh, this has just been like health, health, health for fuller life, and like it's about experiencing some virtue in regards to pleasurable goods. You right. know, like eating, which that's a uh, Achilles heel for me and uh, so part of it's too being kind of cool to talking to people about it and witnessing out of the experience of like virtue is actually delightful and and so I'll have people like you know we go out to eat or you know and go into various places and they're decadent and desserts and stuff and the, the pity that they're feeling for me because I can't have anything and it's like <laughs> you know I actually kind of in the beginning it was and they do feel actual pity, but like when you get to the point where it's like you're not craving it, it's becoming more of a habit, which is kind of a virtue. And actually, you enjoy wow. enjoy not indulging in it, um, and you feel better the next day. Right. And so, um, anyway, so it kind of just on the natural level, just like self care and stewardship of the body that God gave me, and also just the experience of living in a more virtuous way. It, it really has made me think that um, part of what holds us back is, you know, our lack of virtue when it comes to um, attachments to whether it's material goods, pleasure, honor, glory. Those all those things become, you know, what we're concerned with and consumed with. And then it really crushes the opportunity to evangelize because 
if I'm attached to those things, that's what I'm thinking about. So if I'm just thinking about my, you know, what you think of me, um, so I'm, it's about my honor, right. then that's what my concern is. And I'm not present to you as a person. Right. And if I'm not present to you as a person, Randy, um, I'm not authentic. Right. And the only thing that evangelizes in this day and age is authenticity. And that's what we hear about in the gospel. Uh, I love how you spun that. That was awesome. Well, you know, uh, it, <laughs> I mean, that's so good. Because I, I got a, a, a <laughs> coffee, but my mom's coffee cup full of sugar. No <laughs> kidding. <laughs> but you know, like in the gospel for today, yeah. Um, Jesus so. says to um, Jesus says he says that you would um, let your light shine before others that they might give glory to God. So it's like if it's done for my glory then the attention is on me and I'm talking to you for something that I can get right. like some praise or accolade or respect or attention. Um, and, uh, well, that, that hampers us in our relationships because I'm not really having much relationship with you as a person. I'm right. using you right. to some degree. Does right. that make sense? Right. Yep. Yep. Not that there's not some authenticity in that, but like the Lord came to set us free. And that's why I like, I like connecting it with the, you know, the bishop's pastoral plan is like fully alive as missionary disciples. Fully alive is like, you know, having the freedom to love, to be present, to not be self-absorbed. Right. Don't worry, I'm still very self-absorbed. <laughs> I struggle at <laughs> no, it every day. No, 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 I struggle no, no, every day. No, no, you're not. Um, well, I'm going to have to go celebrate Mass now, but I was going to talk about... Oh, we Father, talked about your diet I, the whole time. I'm so I, no, sorry. I, 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 <laughs> um, but Father Capon, they're going to be voting on him, uh, the Congregation for Saints, on March 10th. Uh, yeah, super awesome, awesome to deter, um, to recommend whether to recommend to the Holy Father if he has heroic virtue, and and so I was going to talk about that, but um, I just got one minute. So my grandfather went to school with Father Capon. No oh, way. Yeah. And so I was going to show a picture of my no grandfather. Way. Yeah, this is him right here. Um, this is the one of the only pictures we have wow. of him as a youth. So this would have been like in the nineteen or late nineteen twenties. Um, and I don't even know what kind of a model of a car that is, but, uh, um, you notice he, here he's with his shotgun and a fish. And, um, I was thinking of a Hank William Jr. song, shotgun, you know, country boy can't survive, bro. That was my favorite, favorite song. I was rocking out of my truck. Okay. So, um, but here's what I learned. He didn't catch the fish. He shot the fish. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Hold it up. Hold it. I'm going to take a picture and post it. Oh yeah. Oh, right here. Awesome. That is so Leo, great. Leo Yurok, Leo oh, Sylvester. I, that's the man. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yep. I love that. Yeah. So, all right, we'll see oh, you soon. It. All right, good to see you. Okay. Have a good mass.